tell me about Jovik. Haitham said, if that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes. They both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights. That will make my... What say you then? I'll go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Ljuvina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the... about me? What? Move along now. We ran a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dock master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if you wear some... These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Luvina. You know Hjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Kjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor. Kjor and Yufina have done well for themselves. Here, this is their home. The place has been ransacked, and this body, it's not your Olufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Continues. Who is that? Come closer. Now. It's... It's me, Juvena. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Juvena. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help, on my honor. I am sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to... Who were they? Why they were after this? I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. 
Where is your... At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. This way. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The slush in the streets often drips from the gutters of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Fjord is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. Hey, pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I have come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Eivor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret, but they failed. This is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names, our leads. Listen to our Yor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishia's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafin. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Hyor, I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. King Rissie. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? Are you some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farawid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well-fed Westral is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Hyor, send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. 
and make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I'll take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishie will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love... I Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides... I am only glad you were not harmed. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits that joy has changed. Politics. It takes the north side. I'm happy for him. You have made something of yourself. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now. But the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Alvin is worried they will come for the archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The dogmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using your big money storage to increase taxes, as if he's been ordered to by the council. You are would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The dark master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I'll have another look around the harbor. Try the trade depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Alvon keeps a close eye on the place. I'll try my luck there. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I'll return when I find something. The archives. This must be where Arthur shuffles the council papers. Items to procure for a feast. Weapons and supplies, but not enough to arm and feed even the smallest army. A pile of official scrolls stamped with a seal. That 
Thank you, Alden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Luvina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Hmm. And destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An Abbess does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve, but unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else that much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The Rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the Bishop there. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. <laughs> Priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property! I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and... I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return... Show me... Th now! Lord Fig... <sighs> Bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? Lord above! The, the bishop! No, no. I can't look. Oh, dear lord! A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Ugh, the stench. He looks like suits your shit. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted, and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burnt, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of Mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. Blood. There was a struggle here. Several Christian texts. The Abbess was right to cast suspicion the Bishop's way. What? Just what do you think you're doing? 
This is no place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We are the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abyss is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim. fire that burns inside. I've always had it. But that door was always shut. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage, that courage to change. And you used your chance to... We have seen time and time. Knowledge must be a day where there... This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not... This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. Off to Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await. I should return to Ljuvena. She'll want to know about Abbas Inkyborg's involvement. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was your gods. I would never have suspected. Does the orders... None. And it is often those we least expect. The Abyss sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that hurt my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless shits have free roam in our lands as well. Your said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The how Lovina, a moment of your time. And your is about. Uh, two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these stocks. What are you doing? I know the way. I forgot which merchants to collect from. I cannot believe this. Black cloth seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the Council. Someone else will take care of it.
seized exotic wares. He's a wet plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So the dog master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Coppergate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants that should get their attention. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean? Where to? I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The dog master. Sorry, who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I know beggar, you adult. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the East Gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? Ha! <laughs> Please. Empty carts and a black cloth marking the house. This is the place. Hiding among the rats, Needle. Fitting. Not to draw attention here. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? They're melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand. You're a shit poet, but at least... <laughs> you think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. Hey now! War guide my clothes! Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think... Shh, I understand. With all the silver I've given you, I have... Oh, dear God. Merchants of your... Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson. Should it... I run this operation. I do the thinking. You do as you're told. Hey, wait! Holding, holding you! 
you! It's funny. Weak with hunger, but God did not say for the first head it was so you see. The order made our paths intersect. A life debt is a strong motivator. Yet not with the same con You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. Not where you have gone, Liu Bing. The needle will never smell done anymore. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast. But I... A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four, Rysie, Faravid, Odin, and your, the four members of the council. We should search their offices now, while they are occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. The room to the left. That is where the councilmen confer. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Feravid is pressing the council for more silver. A wax seal, similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk, it looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Got the door. <laughs> there was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him. Not Mayor. Keep your focus. Once we have- Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I'll speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even your? Even your. If he is the vault, I'll not allow him to kill all these people. Juvena. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now, to speak to the council members. 
I'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Faravit, a word if I may. Ah, Drengel. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is... I may be courted, but I am selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! <laughs> if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. <laughs> What a delightful feast! Aldon has outdone himself. Aldon, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin, and these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I'll fetch you some wine. Uh, no, 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 I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. He has oh, indeed. Nice. Nice. So I read of Jorvik. Has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Sure. Who is that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it's important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I'll have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Of course. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? Aldon was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he, and he was, was helping, helping Abbas Inkyborg collect, collect Christian texts. texts. She, she turned, turned out, out to be the firebrand. Fire yes. yes, yes, you're right. right. And, and the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. arrived. When, when I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be safe for the guests. For these reasons, I think Aldon is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on the day we honor you, we honor as well the nobles to whom we are all. So the wine, wine dead. I'll do the vault to like for them. them. We, we must, must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilman to safety. I will handle Aldon. Go. What's up the case? Ah. Uh. I'll cut your throat instantly. Get it? No escape, you throw off there. Several cowards already this time. What, what did you hope to gain with all this? 
What riches are worth so much mess? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. I secured our power on the backs of a four, you nine worms in the tree. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. Countless. I live in one world only. You live in none. Pure Yuvina. Where did they go? Are you alright? We're fine. Father than his cars escorted King Rishi back to the royal hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. That sniveling little shit. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishie. Aldon is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out of myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Aldon aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory, the Dark Master, and Ingeborg, the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure half the Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary high reeve of your Vic Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do, what do you, you propose, propose we, we do with it? it? Without, Without resources, Halfton's army will perish against the Picts. I, I say we fund the war. Give, give Halfton's men what, what they need to turn the tide. The tide. Future Danes and Saxons will thank us for it. You will hear no argument from me. Then it will be done. You will see that your army gets what they need. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this horde. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Yan Yan. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did it. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harald all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Yor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind, so I must know. What is it for? I suppose I cannot forego the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufin. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world or the next. If you drop by your way again, please join us for an aid. I know the place down the street. Ah, it seems the wind calls me back to Rani. Best tell her the good news. I have purged the order of ancients from Jorvik with Yuvina and Jorvik's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls.
Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. I'm grateful to see Bastion returned. There's so much more. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago. Signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi, get a full picture of all this. Do you need something? Uba Ragnason, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Oh, thank me for sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt... A darkness followed your brother, one I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks... Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kist. And may we meet again soon, on a battlefield. What awaits in your Vichyre? Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkiss personally. Halston Jarl, I have heard that man's name so often. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at... I'll, I'll go, go at once. once. With, with caution, caution Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts. A proud clan that lit. The battle climbed into the hills. <clears throat> the Orleans. <laughs> hey, hey, who's, who's that? Everyone all right! Help the wounded, and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenbrenn. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Halstan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He, he was, was, but the pickets, pickets hit us hard. hard. Fresh, Fresh attack, attack from, from the hills. hills. Settle round! round. Watch your back! Pickets, they won't be happy to see the likes of me. Pickets are just ahead. Are you wounded? I'll live. live. If we, we die, die today, tonight, tonight we think we'll hold it in. Either way, we claim victory! We meet in the Forge of Babel. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Fanovit's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Eivor and Uba, Finnir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. But the, the timing is poor, as you can see. see. Too many here are spent, but not sore. Thirsty. 
Fire Have, Have your men, men build field piles for the dead. dead. At, At once, once, my yard. yard. Not, Not here. here. Not now. now. Then, then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The old son, son of Ragnar Lothbrok, so he says. What do you make of him? A heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to your Rikshai, friend. Well met, Ferevet. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. You heard the yard, take the gear and start digging. He's at Dunnercast, the towering castle by the river. We cross them in spring, no sooner. That, that is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter rains. To go he should drink good, honest, not that bitter Frankish wine. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is when I say we strike. After Hammer protects this land, tell my people that. King Rishia. As, As you, you wish, wish, my lord. lord. Who is, Who is this? this? Come, Come closer. closer. Half Dan Regnason, my sword arm answers your call. Thank, Thank you for, for your tribute, Eivor Wolf Kissed. Your battles and, and, and you are the hero of Yorick. So, so sing, sing my skulls. Not, not just, just any, any hero. Eivor brought, brought order, order to the city when King Vichy could not. not. They, they say you rooted out a gang of thieves and, and traitors. Not alone, not alone but I led the charge. The, the silver, silver Eivor recovered, Eivor recovered there, there now pays for our war with the Picts. It is, it is wasted, wasted fight fighting Picts. Picts. Should we put, put that to use? use. I, try I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess second ourselves, ourselves would only, only stall, stall the victory. The victory. I, don't I don't regret, regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, against the Picts. In, spite in spite of Eivor winning, winning the day. Eivor and I held them half the yard, so you could sweep, sweep in, in, stab a few cold corpses, corpses and claim a glorious victory. victory. Your jest hit, hit like Odin's like spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without, without your hammer, hammer Red Yard. Please, Please accept, accept this, this. Your, your share, share of the loot we want today. today. A thing of beauty! Hmm. Frankish, Frankish, I believe. I believe. What, do what do you think, think Eivor? Eivor? A fine a piece of work, work. Fit, fit for the lips, for the lips of, a of a king. king. Or, a, or man a man who makes kings. kings. There's, There's wisdom, wisdom in this, in this one, one Faravid. Faravid. By your leave, Lord, Lord, I must, I must return, return to my, my forward, forward camp. camp. It's, it's a long... long... Two-faced two smirking glory round. round. My, my Lord, Lord, in your, in your summons, summons, you said that... Not here, here. not now. now. Dance, Dance. Sin. Sin. Fill, fill yourself with ale, and meet me at top of this tower of stone. There, there will weave a tale of friendship, friendship 
and treachery. A tale as old as does the world. All this, we, we conquered, conquered this, this, he and, and I, I together. together. You've, You've earned, earned great, great fame, fame. Won, won many, many battles, battles across, across England. England. But not alone. No, no, no. Beyond, Beyond Ironside, Iron fearless Uber, Uber. Eva, Eva the Bonus, sinking snake and I. <laughs> great great warriors, warriors all. all. My, My brothers. brothers. Gold, Gold is good, is good. Battle, battle better, better. But, but glory, glory never, never dies. dies. Forever, Forever lives, lives in the, in the hall, hall of heroes, of heroes high on Valor's deed. deed. Together, Together we, we have, have conquered. conquered. Together, Together with, with my, my friends, friends, my clan, clan. Pharaoh above, above all others. others. One, One sword, sword is not an army, army Ava. Ava. Even, Even the hero, hero needs, needs loyal friends. friends. I have I never, never lost a sight of that. that. Never. never. Have you have room, room for, for one, one more, more among, among those you call friend? friend? What does friendship friend mean, mean to you, Eivor? Eivor? Friendship, friendship goes, goes beyond, beyond words. words. It is a, it is a solemn, solemn bond, bond, a chain, chain unbroken. unbroken. Spoken, Spoken like, like the Faller, it, it is indeed a kind, a kind of magic. magic. You wriggle, you wriggle like, like an eel in a basket, basket Hafton. What has called you? you? Friendship, Friendship can also, also spoil, spoil, like, like rotten, rotten meat. meat. After, After all, all these years, years he dares to bite my hand. hand. Fat of it. it. He, he seems, seems a good, a good and loyal, loyal man. man. Seems, seems, yes. As a, As a bright, bright sky in winter, winter seems, seems warm. warm. But rumors, rumors fly of little men plotting trees in the dark. dark. Have you Have proof, proof of his treachery? treachery? Not yet! yet. That, that is, is where, where you, you enter, enter my, my saga. saga. Prove, Prove this for me. me. Discover, Discover if Faravid has, has been disloyal. Been disloyal. Then, then we, we shall talk of oaths. Start, Start me somewhere. somewhere. Give, Give me, me something, something to, go to go on. on. You, see you see this? From a sea unicorn. unicorn. I filter my, my mead and wine with it. I have heard, heard of such beasts. beasts. They, swim they swim below the ice, the ice beyond the world's edge. edge. And, and their, their horns protect against, against poison. poison. You believe Faravid wants, wants to poison you. you. I fear he has tried countless, countless times, times and failed, failed them all. You don't, you don't believe, believe me, but I know the man. The man. His, his gifts, gifts of wine, wine his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <laughs> An earth earth trees. Trees. Why, Why trust me with such, such a task? task? Your Vic. You stop, you stop the, the ill deeds of Alden and his swarm of rats. rats. You can do, you the, can do the same here. here. Like, like a good, a good sword, sword, Anna, Anna has, has two, two edges. edges. I'll, I'll help, help you. Faravid has, has left the feast already heading for his camp up river. river. Join, Join his warband. War and behind his back, dig. dig. And if, and I, if find I find nothing, nothing if he's, he's a good, a good and loyal, loyal man. man. Even, even better, even better. better. Fair, Fair enough. enough, I will, I will find, find what I find. find. Then, then return, return, my friend. My friend. Don't, Don't let, let Farrow fool, fool you. you. He, he is, is hiding, hiding something. something.
That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet, your father's sword. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now, but with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean... he drowned? <laughs> Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick, and never got better. And now she's under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food. Then travel to Yond. Your father would wish that. This world is hard, and the gods care not. Cold and dirty. Must be the place. Throw yourself in, you Nungagab, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table. Like dogs. Baravid! Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Domicaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Hafton and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Ferevit. This whelp needs scalding. Over, piss off. Small men always talk big. So was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with hearths of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine, but victories are treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Halfdan. Killed for Halfdan. Bled for Halfdan. And he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But half then, he seems a cautious man. Cautious? He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Doracastre. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The pigs are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. in good and godly places should be home filling my belly not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall ah boil your head we'll gang forth with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings heed my words wrong side of the wall the pigs march this winter with help from an unknown quarter hmm. 
The pig spoke of Stenwaya, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dins, run! Stop them before they reach Stenwaya! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Ulfr! Ulfr! Glory for Ulfr! Raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenwaya. We need to plan our next move. The Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. There's the Chief. Now strike him down. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in wind? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the Wolfkist is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earn it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friends, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Fair enough. Hafton gets what he's owed. Fuck Hafton! If the Raven wants wine, the Raven gets wine. Open it, Faravich! If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? I see. Because Hafton thinks I'm disloyal, now you don't trust me. Has our battle bond earned me no favors with you, Eivor? Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder.
All right, we fight. And I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Halfton. Good. Good. Victory is ours. I must return to Doncaster for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Waltz. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Feravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Feravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Fedovit asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. I fought some hard battles at Fedovit's side, and found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We're to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind and... <sighs> Perhaps you could speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bianton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. Moira's not here. This letter came from Wiki. She must have gone there. Come on out of there, you heathen lover! Away from my house, you ruffians! <laughs> oh, goodness! You're not... Moira, we must go before they burn your cottage to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It'll take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on, then. I shall follow. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. I and if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time. To ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. 
Can you cure his illness with such a brew? My medicine is meant to alleviate his pain, not cure it. I fear there is no cure at all for what ails Hafton. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden... You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? He gave your goblet little more than a second glance. He rants and broods in his high tower. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. The songs of skulls and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Uh Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scraped by. ...with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again... ...until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done... ...but today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am... ...confused. Yes, you answer to half done. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid. 
but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. But we need his army to... And we'll have it, if we falsify all... You would do this? Draw up... That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. Good. Hjor's... I'll cost you more than bread! Things you have better... Hjor, just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please, after I brick your face to the brains! You die now! Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those... With greater sense, I hope. Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. What happened to the silver you took from Aldon? You could hire a band of cell swords for that much. It won't be enough. We need Rishia's Saxons at our side. Any fewer would be a death sentence. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Feravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Haltan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Haftan himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You'll have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Come raise a cup and some silver! Join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes. We do enjoy the comfort, the cold, and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here. Take this forgery and pray that King Rhysia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenwyr. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> for whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. 
Who's out there? Hafton. Good to find you here. The Raven Feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor! Search the perches and lookouts here. We could be spying from above. He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. Help! I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Hey, Anton, may Trakis attack us. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Looks abandoned. Are you... The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter. Need to be careful here. were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. ...by plotters and... ...schemers! What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. She also said she'd seen your illness before. In her own family, said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. 
Return my spoils to Donna Casta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrowid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I'll take my leave, Lord. Press him, Eivor! As hard as you can! Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Richier promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Lovina is ahead with a dozen of Jorik's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days where the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. Enough, Hafton. Name your traitors when the fighting's done. Easy for you. Nobody's poisoning your damn wine. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. These Picts, King. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. We may have but one god hidden. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken!
for Thor, for Ragnar, for Hafton! Ah, oh, the sweet taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. to the north. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. Hell's frozen door welcoming. What, what way? A traitor's death. He was a hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon... No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I'm through playing. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this. Moira, is Hafton about? Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Rishie, I struggle to be surprised. I was caught up. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. Have you had enough fun? My I'll save some for later. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood. To Hafton King, I lift my crown spire, stout oak of Valkyries. <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Sheath your weapon, Ferovit. Eivor, make this man see sense. 
He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Halfton, stop! This is a man of honor! You stand beside this... this traitor? I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. I am Halfdan Ragnarsson, wolf of war, lord of Jorvik, ruler of men! I am king! Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. In days yet to come, men will sing the praises of Haftan and scorn the life of Faravid the Betrayer. You are the hero of a coward's tale. A man who hid behind his best men and claimed their victories for his own. You are banished. Out! Never again set foot in my lands! Thank you, King. I... No more. Leave me. I fear for Northumbria, now that Hafton is king. Many may suffer if his madness goes unchecked. And who is to blame for his madness, Faravid? I should demand an apology for that, but there is no need. Soon I shall be long gone, far away across the whale road where the fates guide me. Something's got the fox in the hen house. End of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know about the goblets? The lead? Now's the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. We hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Pleasure to see you. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. I wonder how Halfdan fares now that he sits on the throne. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Beonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. So ah, look at you, big and tall. What's your name? Eivor. Uh Eivor! Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like... I do. Well, listen. 
Here they will only respect if you're sober then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, I'll shut your big mouth while I f That's the spirit. I'll buy you a round with my winnings. How's that? Ha! <laughs> I like this one! F your face is a wreck. You're a... Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant! Brilliant! Yes, yes! Here's the next one. You're a pig head. Now to look upon you leaves my eyes in great pain. You're brilliant. You're you. Are... Let's have another. I'm a champion. You can break a proper ruse lies. That was the most incredible f I say the three cheers for e Toby says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debt. No glory, no hope. Stand up, Heft. <laughs> up, my lord. Men bled and died to sit you on the My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me! It was no secret. Uba knew, did he not? Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I... I'll find your hammer. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer... Drunk needs his hammer. Lighthouse, Hafton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had fourteen winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. But that was years ago, in the East. And this is the West, where my father lies dead. And here we are... How did my brother die? Ivar murdered an innocent man. A good man. He earned the death I gave him. Hmm. If the codes of honor demanded his death, you did what had to be done. Failton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. Thank you, friend. You are always welcome at my hall. 